In this video, I'm going to continue working on this assignment. It's Project 8.1 in Button Maker. We're going to model the part on page 11. It's part number 17, the vertical support. Let's start out by creating a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane. Choose my line tool. Start a line at the origin. And enter 5.75. Make the line horizontal. Enter. I'm going to continue drawing my line. Go straight up vertical. Go across. Up. Across down. These are all horizontal and vertical lines. And make this segment end. You notice that there's a dotted line across here. Make it, uh, make the height of this line the same as this. Come across to the axis and then down to the origin. And notice that all my vertices have a gold dot and it signifies that I've uh, that they're actually closed. I'm going to use my equal constraint and make this line equal to this line. And it complained because they already are. I'm going to choose my lock constraint, my fix constraint, and I want to lock this line keep it so, it so that it doesn't move. I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensions. Add a dimension from here to here. And this dimension, the, the I'm going to revolve this profile and the diameter is going to be 5 sixteenths of an inch. So this will represent the radius. So that's going to be half of 5 sixteenths. So I'm going to enter in a formula. And that formula is going to be parentheses of 5 divided by 16 and close parentheses divided by 2. And I'm going to add another dimension uh, from here to here. And the diameter of this portion of the profile is a half an inch, so the radius is a quarter. 0.25. Going to add one more dimension from here to here. That is 1.375. I finish my sketch. I'm going to use the revolve command. And my axis, I'm going to choose this line as my axis. Select OK. I'm going to use my chamfer tool. I want to put a chamfer up at both ends. And the chamfer is 0 0.031. And it's at both ends. I'm going to use my thread tool. I'm going to specify a face, this face, and I'm going to go to the second tab, specification, and because the radius is 5 sixteenths, uh, it's uh, selected a 5 sixteenths thread, which is what I want. I want to add the same thread over here. Go to my thread tool. It's the same thread, but I don't want it full length. 
I'm going to uncheck this box, full length, and make the length a half an inch, 0.5. I'm going to go to Eye Properties, go to Physical, and change the material to Steel. Go to Summary, and change the title to 17 Vertical Support. Change the author to your name. Go to Project, set the part number at 17 and the description to vertical support. I'm going to change the finish of my part and go to this menu and go down to steel and choose steel polished. Create a new drawing. Select base Set the scale to 2 to 1. Place your ISO view. Select OK. Choose your ISO view. Turn on Shaded. Select Annotate. Select your center mark tool. Select this outer diameter. Select the center line bisector. Select these midpoints. Right mouse button cancel. Select the line you just created and extend the lines out beyond the part. Select Dimension, select the Outer Diameter, Select Hole and Thread. Select Chamfer. Select this beveled edge and this surface. Right mouse button cancel. Select this note. Hit enter and type in uh, both ends. Highlight this text, select it. Right mouse button. Select text to edit the text. And at the end of the line, Enter capital X space point five O O to designate the length of these threads. Select I properties, go to summary, and change the title. Change the title to seventeen vertical support. Change the author to your name. Change the part number to 17. And select OK. Save your drawing.
go to File, Export to PDF, save your PDF file in your Documents folder, and submit your PDF drawing to Project Lead the Way to complete your assignment.